Hello guys, so today's heading is two different indefinite integrals with the same derivative lead to the same family of curves and so they are equivalent. What, what it means is that if we have like we have two different indefinite integrals okay then if it if we, we will take we will take the derivative of both we have first we have two different integrals if but if in some case if their derivative of of the the different the two different indefinite integrals are same then we have to prove that those integrals represent the the same family of curves so so let us say we have two functions let f okay let f and g be two functions okay we are assuming two functions right off the bat so such that since we, we, now the the integral of the first function will be integral of fx dx and the integral of second function will be integral of gx dx now in the question what, what what we have to assume is what we have to take is the two different indefinite integrals with the same derivative so this is the keyword here their derivative since you know the integrals this this integral and this integral are different but their derivative are equal okay so like this is equal to d by dx of this one then finally we have to prove that these two integral represent the same family of curves. So we will do that. First of all, we'll bring uh, the all the our quantity in, in on the left left hand side like this. d by dx of integral of f x dx minus d by dx of g x of dx is equal to zero. Okay. Now this can be re 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 written, written as d by dx of integral integral of fx dx minus integral of gx dx equal to 0 why because we know the process of difference differentiation is is linear like for example if you have d by dx of x square plus 2 then what you do is you do d by dx of x square plus d by dx of 2 so here I, I have done the opposite thing like first I had these two terms uh, individually then I, I combined these two like I I went from here to here okay so we have come to this now now since we know that this will be some function okay this will be some function and uh, its derivative is zero it means the function has to be some constant value then only its derivative will be equal to zero. It means so. It means that our the, the function that will come out of these two, the the difference of these integrals will be a constant. It means integral of f x dx minus integral of g x dx will be equal to some constant c, where c belongs to real numbers. Okay. Now let us put this in the right hand side integral of fx dx okay is equal to integral of gx dx plus c now let us break this constant since this is this this is belonging to some real number let, let, let us break this down into two two this constant into two constant like this integral of fx dx is equal to integral of gx dx plus c1 plus c2 here c is equal to c1 plus c2 okay we can do this right since the formation is equal to c now we will uh, put this c1 on the left hand side integral of f fx dx minus c1 is equal to integral of gx dx plus c2 now again let us uh, write this as c1 as fx dx plus c3 here we will write c3 is equal to minus of c1 okay so we are we are just writing on a positive constant in place of negative constant but we know that it is 
c3 is equal to minus of c1 so this will uh, do us no harm okay is equal to integral of gx dx plus c2 so from here we can easily see that our integral of fx dx plus c3 and integral of gx dx plus c2 they are, are identical why because this is constant c3 will be belong to r also c2 will belong to r and since r can have since the constant of integration is a random it is it is an arbitrary value so like c3 values will be like from minus 5 then minus 4.9 to so on to plus infinity similarly for here also so this doesn't matter if they are a different constant because they are arbitrary constant okay their value ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so they are almost identical so it means our and one thing we also all know that an integral represents the family of curves so we can finally say that this the family of curves represented by this uh, this expression and the family of, of curves represented by this uh, expression are same they are identical hence we can say that the integral of fx dx and the integral of gx dx are equivalent they are um, kind of equivalent because they are representing the same family of curves okay so uh, that's it for today guys if you enjoyed it then like the video and you can subscribe to my channel also if you like okay bye bye have a good day